Well, today we're in Kerrville, Texas, and we stopped at the Cross of Kerrville. It's a pretty interesting place. We saw it on the satellite view, and it's a vertical cross as well as a horizontal cross on the ground. And it's a big garden, and a lot of people come here to visit. So uh, there you can see the cross as we approach it. That's the vertical cross. And here's a big plaza here. And the shape of this plaza makes a cross. So for example, standing here, this is the bottom of the cross. And this would be the center of the cross we're coming to. Devin Spike. This is the coming king. And the plaque here it says the the king of kings and lord of lords. The coming king was created out of bronze in 2000 by the artist. The sculpture represents Jesus Christ, Yeshua, uh, the Messiah of the Jews, the returning of the glory at the end of time to judge the world for hurting his children and rejecting his sacrifice on the cross. Jesus is the gentle lamb of God now, but he is returning soon as the path of the sculpture. Oh, Walker. Here's the inscription on this. The coming king, Christ's return in glory. By Max Grenier Jr., I guess. Divine servant. Jesus washing the feet of Simon Peter. Divine ser Serpent. And you can see we're up on a pretty good hill right here. Okay, inside the cross, we're standing inside it, kind of as like here, but actually inside the cross. And there's a plaque, it says the empty cross. And it talks about the sculpture here by Max G. Grenier Jr. of Kerrville. It says the empty cross is 77 foot, seven inches tall. The arm 
the cross arm is 40 foot across and the center space is seven foot. The carbon and core 10 steel cross weighs approximately 70 tons and is anchored in solid rock. Below this cross, inside the concrete foundation, is a Bible which was anointed with water, soil, and oil from Israel. This cross is located at the same latitude as Israel and is approximately halfway between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans on IH-10. This cross symbolizes the door, the way, and the narrow gate, the strong tower, and the mighty fortress that allows the light of the world, Jesus Christ, to shine from heaven to earth. And above it says the most symbolic cross in the world, therefore we are also, I mean, therefore we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witness, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us, and let us run the endurance, the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus and the author and the, fa the finisher of faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Hebrews 12, 1-2. And as we look out front, there's looking down the cross, and there's a prayer garden over here, and there's little rocks where you can bring a sharpie and you can um, write prayers on the rocks, and then lay them here. Hmm? It must be cold in Israel today. I'm okay. Yeah, and here's some prayer rocks that people have posted their prayers on. And there you can see a photo taken um, from the air of what the cross looks like. Spike saw a dog. And he's being okay. He's just he looking. Says, he's looking. They have a little big French bulldog over there. Come on, buddy. Good looking, Spike. You look well. Come on, Spike. And this one right here. Let's see. The Great Commission. The Great Commission was created out of bronze in 1996 by the artist. The sculpture depicts the world, the word, and the rock. Jesus Christ is the word of life, and the rock is our salvation by which all things have been created. This sculpture has special meaning to all Christians who have been called to serve God around the world. It says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. Jesus Christ, Matthew 24, 35. So there's that bulldog. Look at that little guy. He's, he's chunky. Biggest spike or bigger? Yeah. Maybe not as long, but he's a whole lot sturdier. Yeah. There's a corgi that came through. Yeah. So I just thought I'd come up over here and look over the the hill here. Okay. Well, in Kerbal, there's where we spent the last night at the Cracker Barrel. You can just barely see it to the right of that uh, 
power line. Or just kind of actually split by it. So we spent last night at the Cracker Barrel there. And then we visited Lowe's and came up here to the cross. And our next stop is going to be Stonehenge 2, which ought to be fun. So thanks for watching. Well, thanks for visiting uh, Kerrville, cross, the cross of Kerrville with us. And uh, we're next, our next stop is going to be Stonehenge 2. So we'll be making a video there. But um, get out, enjoy yourselves. Get in your RVs, your motorhomes, your Class A's, your B's or C's, whatever you have. And tour America. See it. It's a wonderful place. And uh, you'll never know what you'll find as you travel. For example, I didn't, I wasn't expecting the cross. We were going to go to the uh, Stonehenge, but we found this. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.